I, I, like I heard you say, Mr. Backhurst, you do not believe that RTE is insolvent. That's correct. Okay. Do you believe it will be insolvent this time next year? Uh, it, no, not if we get the... the well, if this trend continues? If, not if we get the funding that's been uh, suggested. So and, and, if we, and if we make significant cuts to our spend. Okay. So can I ask, when is your cut-off point for receiving that funding? When is the deadline? Well, we've done, done various scenarios. Um, you know, we, we need it by sort of early, early spring next year. Early spring next yeah, year. But I understand the timetable is earlier than that. And if you don't get it, do you believe RT will be insolvent? Yes, and I've made that point. Pardon? I've made that point that we, we are managing our cash as carefully as we can because we have a responsibility to do that for that reason. Okay, but did you say yes, you do believe? If you don't if we get didn't the get, If we didn't get this cash, we would run out of cash, that's for sure, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's worrying. So spring next year. It is worrying. It is, yeah. The 150,000 euros that was discussed at this committee with Mr. Tuberty, has RTE received that money back? No. Okay. Does RTE intend to recoup that money? We don't have any legal basis to recoup it. I think I said that previously. Okay. But we have, I have said publicly, I, um, that I think there's a, a moral imperative rather than a legal one on that. 